Okay, so today I'm going to show how I make those bath bombs. Exactly. I've had lots of questions or um, lots of messages about how exactly I make them. So I'll make the short video and show you how exactly it is and how easy it is. Right, so all you're going to need is everyday ingredients which you, you should be able to find in your kitchen or outsource them in the supermarkets. Uh, first of all, it would uh, require a one cup of uh, bicarbonate soda, which is basically baking soda. Okay, the next thing is half a cup of cornstarch. You can find that in the, what is it, flour aisle. It's for thickening, basically, sauces. And then you're going to need half a cup of citric acid, which is um, in the cleaning aisle section. The citric acid makes it fizz. The bicarbonate soda reaction with the citric acid makes it fizz even more as well. And the cornstarch binds it together and I've been told, I read about it, it makes it float. So yeah, we will, I think that's a bit too much. There. We will add these together. We will mix them up first to make sure that they are well integrated. Okay, now when that's all done, mixed up, if you wanna color your bath bombs, now is the time to do it. So you basically could have food dye, which you can find in the baking section. Uh, you can add your essential oils into it. I'm obviously making a really basic one, but it's all about little goes a long way. So you will add one drop, mix it up and see how you go. Same thing with essential oils. You want to do little by little and then keep mixing because you don't want it to all of a sudden start fizzing. And also uh, maybe if you want it to add like moisturizing oils like coconut oil and stuff like that, again, it'll be the same time to do it. So I'm going to add this yellow. And now I'm gonna start adding water. Now it's important to have the water in a spritzer as opposed to just pouring slowly because it fizzes so incredibly fast. So you wanna be careful. So you wanna spritz and mix and spritz and mix uh, a little at a time. And then the color will enhance as you do. Right, I'm just mixing with my uh, hands um, to uh, get a real good feel of it. And also like I'm picking it up and then like squeezing it. So that really gets the moisture across um, all the flour, whatever particles. So that helps. And then you can really feel, okay, so if I squeeze now and let go, that's pretty consistent. And I can't hear it fizzing, which means it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It seems good. So I think um, it's now time to um, put them into the little um, sphere bowls, which I got quite cheaply off the internet. Various, you know, shopping place you can get them, or just old crystal clear bowls, whatever. Okay. Now all you have to do is hold them like this, scoop the product, and as you're scooping it, you're deep inside the flowery mixture, and you're going to be pressing against each other and then squeeze them. That's it. Then you get a spoon and you gently tap it all around to loosen it. Now bear in mind this is still going to be quite crumbly. Um, it does take 24 hours to set so you kind of want to leave it on a sheet to dry and then use it at least 24 hours later. It doesn't have to be a perfect sphere but let's see. That's one side. Turn over, and voila! Let's place it carefully on here to dry. So as you can see, that only took me 10 minutes to make from start to finish. And I've got three bath bombs, which I will have fourth one ready for my enjoyment. Nice and easy, and you can experiment and play about with the colors. You can have different bowls set up if you want to have multicolored, and just go enjoy and experiment it and add a few different smells and oils but be careful not to add too much and remember 
be careful with the amount of water and always have a spray bottle. Little is a long. Well, hopefully that <laughs> was simple enough and um, explains about the method and how quickly it is and easy it is to make it from all the questions that I received. Um, have fun making them and um, thank you very much for watching and supporting us. Bye bye.